going on guys and welcome back to the rundown with lady t where i run down four trending topics of the week and we talk about it before we get started do your girl a favor and subscribe to the channel like the video and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload so let's get into it for trending topic number four Nene Lee's son Brad is focusing on his health after suffering a heart failure and stroke. The 23-year-old son of Real Housewives alum shared a series of photos on Instagram showing off his new look after losing 100 pounds. Focus on you until the focus is you 100 pounds down, he wrote on the post. He also posted before and after shots of his weight loss. Back in November, Nene shared a series of photos and videos on Instagram after her son was discharged from the hospital after he suffered congestive heart failure and a stroke. On October the 10th, Nene thanked her Instagram followers for the support during her son's recovery. He's only 23, so he's really young for something like this to happen to him, she said. Nene explained at the time that Brent had been suffering with speaking, but have shown some improvement, and we're really happy and blessed for that. Nene said that because of his age and condition, doctors confirmed her son had not taken any drugs or did not have HIV, C-19, or any other form of injection. She also responded to her followers who asked in her DMs if his weight could have been a problem. So let's wish Nini's son all the best. He looks great. Continue your health journey. All the best. And I'm telling you, he is a walking miracle. Number three. Hurricane Chris is headed to court next month for his trial relating to his second degree murder charge stemming from a June 2020 incident. Now, according to reports, a February the 13th date was confirmed in court on January the 17th ahead of the trial. Chris will also appear in court on February the 1st for an arraignment and hearing date. The rapper was arrested after a fatally shooting a man who allegedly tried to steal his car, which turned out to be stolen outside a convenience store in Shreveport, Louisiana. The officers who was called to the scene discovered a man with gunshot wounds to be in the chest, hip, and stomach. The man was rushed to the local hospital where he died from his injuries. The rapper was also charged with illegal possession of a stolen 2016 Mercedes sedan. Chris had been out on bond since posting the $500,000 just two days after his arrest. He has maintained his innocence and asserts that his name will be cleared. Hello world, hello world, hello world, he said in a video after posting bond. I am sure you got the news by now. I was involved in a very unfortunate incident on Friday morning. A very unfortunate incident. I want to thank everyone who have been praying for the family of the deceased and everyone who have been praying for my family. After a good thorough investigation, my name will be cleared. He continued, let God work, watch God work. God bless. Thank you. The Shreveport native claims that he was acting in self-defense, but investigators determined video footage of the incident that doesn't support the theory. They also learned that the vehicle the deceased victim was allegedly attempted to steal was reported stolen out of Texas. Hurricane Chris spoke on the pending trial during a 2021 interview in which he admitted the situation was very stressful, but he was very confident he wouldn't be going to jail. It is a very stressful situation, he admitted. He is hard on me and everyone around me. It's a lot of emotional stress involved with being wrongfully accused. I never had a misdemeanor. I never been charged with anything. I'm chill, laid back, making music. I ain't never been in jail for nothing. Everything legal. He concluded everything on tape. I'm comfortable with my legal team. That part of it is not on my mind. Number two. Janet Jackson is being sued for money she allegedly owes her business managers an unpaid balance of a quarter million dollars. Now, according to the legal documents, the Grammy Award winning singer is having legal action taken against her for what her managers are calling unpaid services. The lawsuit had been filed against Janet and several of her companies dating back to 2017. The suit claims that Jackson entered into a business management services agreement in August of 2017 with David Weiss and Associates. The company described itself as the largest business management firm in the country. They also boast that they are no stranger to working with entertainers and such. We work alongside the world's top artists in music, film, and television, as well as athletes, executives, entrepreneurs, and other high achievers 
offering a sophisticated range of concierge style services to meet their lifestyle management needs. The company is accusing Jackson of bailing on paying the full amount owed for their involvement in her career. The total allegedly owed is $238,593.88. In 2018, Janet was a part of another lawsuit where she was accused of owing similar outstanding debts. Her former manager, Danny O'Donovan, claimed that both Jackson and her brother, Randy Jackson, hired him in 2016 as a manager for the State of the World Tour. According to reports, Janet and Randy agreed to pay him $25,000 a month and he ended up working for 17 months. For the first five months, everything ran smoothly and O'Donovan was paid promptly and religiously, but then the money stopped coming. A year later, the manager claimed that he still haven't received any money, so he sued the pair for $300,000. Number 1. South Florida rapper Flo Rider had won his lawsuit against energy drink maker Celsius Holding Inc. and was awarded $82.2 million in damages a jury decided on Wednesday. A verdict came on the second day of deliberations. Flo Rider claimed in the lawsuit that Celsius owed him thousands of dollars in unpaid royalties earned from his endorsement deal. The lawsuit was seeking damages from a breach of contract, accounting, and unjust enrichment. As a music industry superstar and international icon with millions of digital followers, Flo Rida played an important role as a worldwide brand ambassador and launched a new era for Celsius brand development growth expansion, the lawsuit states. According to the lawsuit, the deal guaranteed payments to Flo Riders, his highly based strong arm production, and D3M when certain benchmarks was reached. Lawyers for the company claimed that those benchmarks came after Flo Rider's endorsement deal had expired. This was a long journey, but we prevail, Flo Rider said in a statement after the verdict was redeemed. From the start, I only wanted what I worked for, nothing more, nothing less. John Usto, an attorney for the entertainer, said that he is pleased with the jury's decision. I'm glad in this case that the jury concluded that Flo Rider should get what he worked for, Usto said. Celsius still could appeal the verdict. All right, guys, that's a wrap with the rundown with Lady T. Hope you enjoyed the show. Leave your thoughts in the comments so we can talk about it. On your way out, make sure to like the video, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss an upload. Catch you in the next video. Be blessed. Bye.